What's up guys, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com. We are going to continue rolling through with our creating a custom light box tutorial series. So in the previous tutorial, all we got done was we made the background of what our light box is going to be and we made our foreground and we made sure that our light box would only show in the very center of our screen and we put a little text in there. But I want to, uh, I want to make it a little bit cooler and I want to show you guys that you can put divs and all kinds of stuff in that light box. So I just have have a really simple thing of what I want to do in here. So in our comment, um, in our comment form foreground, I want you to take out. Wow, this is cool. And I want you to give me two enters. And then in there, I just want to show you guys that you could actually put divs in this light box too. So just type in for me div class, and then let's actually give this a class name. And let's just say something like comment form title, something like that. Okay, so now that we have an area where our title will go, in here, let's just say title of our light box and save that. And then in our CSS styles, let's do a dot because this is a class. We're doing styling for a class, so when you have an ID, you do a pound. When you have a class, you do a dot. So let's do dot, and then you put the name of whatever it is. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to paste that and then I'm going to do my empty braces. So now I'm going to type in, let's give it a font weight of, let's say 800. Let's give it a font size of 25 pixels. Uh, let's give it a color of, ooh, I know which one. Let's do uh, 0, 3, and then 1D, 40. And the last thing we're going to do is let's give it a little bit of margin. So let's say margin and let's say 8 pixels. Give me 0 and then give me 15 pixels and then give me 8 pixels. And save that. And then in our index.jsp we have title of our light box. So everything should work fine. So if we refresh, it'll say title of our light box. And I absolutely hate this font. So in order to change that font, let's go to our body. And let's change it for the whole. Let's change it for the whole web page. Let's just say font family colon and do Arial comma Helvetica comma sans serif. Save that. Come back over here. Refresh, and now we have the title of our light box. So this is just showing you you can put whatever you want in this thing. Whatever you want to put in that light box, you just put it in between this div. So if you have a YouTube embed, you have a picture, no matter what you want, you could put it in there. So this is just simple little things that I could show you guys. Whether it's a div, whether it's a form, no matter what it is, you could put it in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start playing around with some JavaScript. So in order to do that, I need you guys to make an external JavaScript file, and then we are going to embed that file just like we did with the CSS style sheet. We're going to embed that file in here right after our, or right before our body tag. So I need you guys to come into your same folder where you have your index.html or PHP or whatever you have, and you have your style sheet. And I need you guys to create a new JavaScript file. So I'm going to come in here and in Eclipse you would come up to do, 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 oh JavaScript source file. That was easy. And click next. And I'm just going to call it JavaScript. I'm not going to do anything fancy here. So here is my JavaScript source file. And in order to reference this JavaScript source file in our index.jsp, right um right uh before your the ending of your body tag, for me type in script. Oh, that just did everything for me. Man, I love Eclipse. But it should be a type of text forward slash JavaScript, and then you should close your script tag. And the last thing you need to do is the actual file name of that external style sheet. So, I mean external script file. So type in SRC. And in there, type in JavaScript.js and save it. So we're going to do the same thing like we did to make sure that it works. And let's just do a comment and let's type in hello and let's save that so now we have our index.jsp and when we click this link it should show us that source file so let's check our source code and let's click that link and now we see hello as you guys see I like to do a lot of error checking because I don't like to get far in advance and then find out oh my god I made a mistake in the very first thing so that's why I like to go back and just check these things a lot so now we have an external style sheet I mean an external script file I don't know why I keep saying that so we are good to go so 
what we want to do is we want to first hide this content so that when the user comes to our screen, they don't see the light box because we only want them to see it when they click something. So the very first thing we need to do is this light box needs to be hidden and then when they click the button, we want to show it. So in order to hide it on load, you need to come to your style sheet and the first thing you need to say is display colon none comma and then for foreground, display colon none. So now if we come back to our site and we refresh, it's gone. But is, this, is the source file still there? Yes. So all this information is still here, it's just not displayed. So now what we want to do is we want to make a button so that when we click that button, you will see that light box. It's very simple to do. So all you need to do is first we need to create the button that will do this you know, um, request. So as long as it's not in our, we don't want it in this div, and we could put it anywhere on our page really. So let's, uh, just, uh, let's just do it after that. So let's just type in button. B-U-T-T-O-N, pretty sure that's how you spell button, and let's just type in click here and save it. And this could also be like a, uh, a link, like an ahref or something like that, but I'm just going to use a button. So if we refresh this, now you'll see that we have a link that says click here, but it obviously doesn't do anything because we haven't uh, used any JavaScript to show what we want to do. So now the next step is we need to actually make that button fire off and get us that content when we click it. So in order to do that, we need to come into, um, we need to, after it says button, type in on click, and then in here, type in show light box and then empty parameters so now what this is saying is when you click this button when you on click this button I want you to go to JavaScript and I want you to use the function called show light box and the way it knows it's a function is because it has these parameters after it so now what we need to do is we need to create a function in JavaScript that will do what we want to do so this is saying go to that function when somebody clicks it so now in JavaScript, we have to say what that function is going to do. So I just highlighted and copied this. So in JavaScript, let's take out that hello, and you just type in function, paste in the name of it, and then you, and then you give braces. So now in here, we are going to say what we want to happen when you click show lightbox. So type this, we want to document dot get element by ID dot display is assigned block and then we want to actually put the ID of what we want to show so we want to show that comment form background so we paste that in there so I'll explain this what this is saying is when you click show light box what this JavaScript function will do is it will scan your entire document, this entire document, wherever you clicked it. So it'll scan the entire document and it will look for an element. And the element it will look for, it will scan all the elements and it will look for them by ID. So that's why we used ID here. And it's going to find an ID that's called comment form background. So it will scan the entire document and it will look for this guy and when he finds that guy you want to add oh dot style you want to add a style to this background so to this div you want to add a style and the style you want to add is display block because if you remember we said now it's display none so what you want to happen is when they click it you want it to become display block aka show it so if we save this and we come over here and we refresh the page and when we click this now you will see that it displays what we wanted it to show so if we want to show that foreground with the title in it we would do the exact same thing so just highlight over this and copy it paste it and now change this to an F and save it so now you're saying when this function is fired I want you to go to the document find these two IDs and display both of them. So, 
If we come back over here and refresh the page, if you remember, it doesn't show it on page refresh, but if we click the button, voila, oh my god, look at what we're getting done. But we have a simple problem. How the hell do I get out of this thing? Oh my god, it won't go away. That would be kind of a problem. So I'm going to show you, obviously, I'm going to help you guys out. I'm not going to leave you out there to dry. We are going to now figure out how to hide this comment button when they click on the black screen, AKA when they click on comment form BG. So if we want to add an on-click event to when they click that black screen, it would make sense that on this div, we would add the on-click event just like we did here. So you would just type in on click and then you would say hide white box. So this is saying when you click this div I want you to hide the light box. I want you to go to the function in your JavaScript and, you to, and do whatever that function says. So now we need to write the code for that function. So you just say function, paste in the name of it, and then you do the exact same thing as here. So you're going to want to find the background um, div. You're going to want to find the foreground div, but instead of displaying them block, you want to display them none, just like how they started. So now you want to grab those two divs and you want to display them none. That means don't show them. So just copy this and paste it in here, and now click none, and in here click none, and save it. And in our styles.css, we are going to add a cool thing to the background called cursor pointer. Okay, so let's save everything and see what happens. So now, as you can see, it still doesn't work, but if we refresh this page, now we can click it, and now you see that there's a cursor when you're on the background, you see that? So now it's show, it's telling the user, hey, if you click this, something might happen. And when they click it, it goes away. So now you have made your light box. You click something, you show the light box, you click out of it, you hide the light box. So let's say if you wanted to have a link in here that said hide light box, or you wanted to make an X at the top of the screen that said hide light box, all you would do is just like this button, you would create the link, and then you would give it that on-click function event. So you would say, whenever somebody clicks that link, do the hide light box. It's the exact same thing. So as you guys can see, making this light box is not difficult at all. And now that you've made it, it's so easy for you to add your own divs in there, put a form in there, put whatever the hell you want to put in there, because you know how it works. It's easy to add titles. It's easy to do whatever the hell you want. So now that we've figured out the CSS of how to do the lightbox, and we've figured out the JavaScript of how to do the lightbox, in the next tutorial, you guessed it, you're going to figure out how to do the JavaScript of the lightbox. So that, let me view this page source, so that when the user comes to our screen for the very first time, they won't see any of this code. It won't have to load. And instead, you'll utilize Ajax to load all of that information when they click it and it will happen so fast they won't even realize it's Ajax. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you all now have your own custom light box and you know how to X out of it and you understand what we did in the index.jsp, you understand what we did in the styles.css and you understand what we did in the javascript.js. So in the next tutorial we're going to jump head first into Ajax. If you don't know Ajax yet you're going to learn it in the next tutorial but if say if that's all you wanted to do, if this is all you wanted to make, you just wanted to make a simple light box, you don't have to keep going. But trust me, you might want to learn Ajax because they're pretty cool stuff. So thank you all for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. And if you have any questions, please comment below and let me know. So thank you for watching. Christopher Carrington with GMU Student, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.